All right, I'm Brayman with Go Hunt, and today I'm going to walk you through some of my favorite features of Go Hunt Maps. So, first and foremost, favorite feature is definitely going to be 3D on the web. So right now you can see here we're looking at 2D map. It just doesn't allow you to see the intricate details of a mountain. Doesn't allow me to plan. Doesn't allow me to execute any sort of hunting research right now. Um, let's face it, too. We live in a 3D world. I hunt in 3D, so I should be able to research in 3D as well. So, cool thing about Go Home Maps, boom, jump into 3D. I actually can see all the nooks, the crannies, all the terrain, all the cool features of a mountain. I'm able to pick this apart in detail, just like it would be if I was, you know, boots on the ground scouting. So that's gonna be a big edge right now. Just research everything in one spot on 3D and basically plan out a whole hunt or plan out a whole scouting trip ahead of time. So I can just scroll around dive into all the little intricate, intricate details and basically learn everything I need to know about it before I step foot there. So, so if you're sitting at home doing a bunch of research and you're not researching in 3D, you're literally missing out. You're, you're not doing yourself justice, which is why Go Hunt is gonna be so powerful because you can sit here and research 3D all on one platform. Another really cool feature of Go Hunt Maps is gonna be the line measurement tool. Um, this tool has a lot of different uses to it. Um, some of my favorites are just basically taking from what my potential glassing spot might be and just kind of measuring out so I can get an idea of how big the basin is that I might be going into the hunt. And also, can I shoot from this spot? So a lot of times you get to a spot in the morning, you might have a little bit of time for the deer to start bedding or elk or whatever you're hunting, and you might want to just know you can shoot from there if you see an animal. So right now, I have a marker marked at where I'm glassing from and I'm moving the measurement tool out. And I'm gonna check out all those little pockets of timber. Boom, that's 760. You know, at 700 yards, down here we're talking about 360. Another cool feature is I could lock it where I think an animal might be, and I can like move it around, get a big picture for, hey, this is the line of sight, this is the, if I was gonna hike over there, this is the scent or descent from my glassing spot. Um, another cool feature about that is, let's say I was glassing from a spot right here. I'm glassing from this little peak right here that's kind of tall, kind of overlooking this basin and I wanna see if I can actually glass into the bottom from right there. So I use this line measurement tool, click right there, and then I'm just gonna click that there. And right now you can notice that right through here in the line measurement tool, the colors you can see it, and all of a sudden it goes through the mountain and you lose the, you lose the colors. So what that's telling me right now is that there is a feature blocking my line of sight and I can actually not see this area down here because that mountain's in the way. This is a cool way to know, like, hey, can I glass everything from the spot or I need to find a better um, vantage point to glass the whole basin from. So there's a lot of different ways to use this from measuring basins, measuring your shots, measuring your hiking distance. So another really cool feature, probably one of my all-time favorite features of GoHunt Maps is going to be the elevation tool. This has been my little baby for a while that I've really wanted us to incorporate in a mapping thing, and it's super, super cool. So basically what we can do is take a state and I can sort it out by different elevation bands. So let's say I have a early season archery hunt or early season muzzle or hunt. I can sort everything on the map by those elevation bands so I know, okay, these are going to be places right now, everything that's highlighted in this map, that are between 10,000 and 11,500 feet. And now, boom, these are places that are 11,500 plus. So now I can zoom in on them. And I can instantly see a better picture of, okay, these are the areas I might want to focus in on for a high country archery deer hunt. Or you could use it in a different sense. Let's say you have a, you know, a late season hunt and deer are starting to migrate down. You kind of know based on your area where the deer might be at for elevation wise. So you can just turn on those elevations. So let's say you got a later season hunt, and right now we're at an elevation of 7,000 to 8,500 feet. So these are areas where deer could be migrating down into. You can crank it up even higher. This gives you a better overall picture of how to start researching for your individual hunt based on elevations. So a super cool little tool. So I can be like, okay, these are the higher elevations. Deer might be here in the summer. They're gonna start migrating down in these different colored elevation bands. So these are the areas I'm going to start researching, dive a bunch of waypoints into, figure out what the public land is on top of it, and help you have a more successful hunt. So another cool thing I like to do with elevation bands is basically just turn on every single band of elevation in the state. So right now you can see here we have the whole gamut of low elevation all the way to high elevation. So this is gonna allow me to get a bigger picture of what the state has for terrain. So right now you can see like these are all gonna be your higher mountain ranges throughout the state. I can overlay that on top of um, overlay with the unit boundaries. So now I can put big game units on top of that. 
So instantly right now, it's gonna give me a better picture of what units I might wanna apply for based on the terrain that I like to hunt mule deer in. So it just gives a, you know, an easier way to decipher things and figure out how to research and plan for your next hunt. So another thing that's really cool about Go Hunt Maps is we have a lot of unique layers that can be used a plethora of different ways. Let's say I'm planning for a late season mule deer hunt. Right now I have winter concentration areas turned on and I have winter range turned on. So you can see here, these are the higher winter range. It's gonna be a winter concentration area when there's more snows. So we're trying to figure out where I wanna hunt. So what I'm gonna do here also is I'm gonna stack on top uh, elevation band I'm going to stack on top 8,500 to 10,000 feet. So what this is going to tell me right now is even if it's a severe winter, I'm kind of covered. And if it's a normal winter, I'm covered as well. So this elevation band is running through both winter range scenarios. So if I have a late season hunt, this is going to be the type of terrain I'll probably focus on because we have a lot of the uh, mild winter and severe winter mixed with this elevation band running through. Just gives me a bit better picture of where to start scouting, where to possibly hunt during a late season. So it's just a cool way to use Go Hunt Maps. There's a lot of different ways to do it, but you can stack layers on top of each other and showcase what you need to see. So as you can see now, these are just some of my favorite features of Go Hunt Maps, but there is a ton of different options out there for anyone from a mule deer hunter, elk hunter, antelope hunter, sheep hunter, lots of different ways to use these layers. So what I suggest you do, jump on Go Hunt Maps, start playing around, start turning on layers, start figuring out what's gonna work best for you to find your next hunt. Yeah.